My name is Donald Andrews. I've listened to all types of music throughout my life, and it's something I truly love. Ever since I was a kid, I've collected all different types of records of all my favorite artists. Now that I'm older, I have a radio show here in Los Angeles, and it's amazing. It's a really great platform to share all the records I've been collecting throughout the years with a new audience. My name is Donald Andrews, and I'm super passionate about being a DJ. So I DJ a show called 55 Shades of Blue. I do it every Saturday night, Sunday morning from 2 to 6 a.m. I play a lot of really cool electronic music. It's a really, really fun show to listen to. And I broadcast every weekend from the campus of Loyal Marymount University. So I got the radio show with two other friends like 10 or 11 years ago under a different name. We were called Hippos and Tanks and we were like three friends, best friends, and we were so stoked on just finding new music. DJed with them for about a year and we were talking about making a record label based on the show. So I started with the label, but then as time went on, I kind of pulled away and let them do their thing. I was kind of more into filmmaking anyway, so I chose filmmaking over the record label. And I, I sort of try to take that inspiration from, you know, DJing back then, and I kind of bring that to my radio show now. Um, I play a lot of the similar types of music that we were exploring back then. My day job, I'm a commercial editor and I've been doing it for seven years. I cut spots for brands like Kia Cars, to Infinity Cars, to brands like Southwest Airlines. And I really enjoy cutting commercials. It's a really fun job and I get to bring a lot creatively to the table. And that helps inspire my radio show because being in a creative environment all the time, I try to mirror that in what I'm doing on the radio show. Week after week, Don brings in very interesting selections. Most of the time, I haven't even heard this music and it's always good. KXLU has always been my go-to station. And so one night I just happened to turn on radio, just started listening to uh, this great show. And I just got hooked from, you know, from the get-go. I heard about 55 Shades of Blue kind of by mistake. I was an Uber driver. It was just one night where it was just late and I was up and I was zoning out and it came out at 2 in the morning and I was like, okay, it got my attention. I didn't know what I was hearing. I didn't know what the show was. And at this point, I'd probably been working for like six or seven hours. Like I was getting tired and then... 4 a.m. rolls around, it just got weird. I was driving and I, and I heard something. I was like, Who, who's playing it? Why is this even on FM radio? Like, it kind of blew my mind. And then it kind of like, oh, what's the time? What's the, you know, it's Saturday. You know, oh, that's probably, you know, and I check the FM station, you know. Um, and it's like, oh yeah, that's Donald Schoen. This show, is really a labor of love. I put a lot into it every week. I usually uh, spend between seven and 12 hours just going through and listening to new music each week to pick out my favorite tracks to uh, play every weekend. And it's a labor of love also because I don't get compensated, so I do it completely on a volunteer basis, but I do it because I'm passionate about the artists I play. And I just want to expose more people to the music that influences me. I'm just going to back announce really quick. You just heard a uh, track from... It's a little bit of a challenge to DJ from 2 to 6 a.m. every Saturday night just because the hours are so rough. But the most rewarding thing to me is when callers call in and they say, thank you. That's rad. Ah, a listener <laughs> who... Uh, it's like when you hear from listeners who never call, but they call for the first time. That's. It's pretty cool. He was. Uh, he likes what I'm playing, so it's. Uh, it's always a good feeling, you know. I think his show is uh, absolutely one of the best, if not the best, electronic music show in Los Angeles. I love the stuff that he plays because I'm not often up that late at night to actually listen to the show. I always go back and I check his playlists and anything that jumps out at me uh, that looks intriguing or it's something that I've never heard. 
I usually will do my own listening in my own time, and so you know I've I've been turned on to a lot of music uh, through Don Show. Because Donald also has an ear for he doesn't pick just like weird stuff. He kind of balances it with a little bit of pop and and you know stuff that he it's it's radio friendly in a certain way. You know, it's just. Um, it's just a different kind of take on it than all these KCRW and other radio stations have. You know, it's definitely pushing it a little bit fur further. You, can, you know, he plays all this new music that you're being exposed to for the first time. And to try to remember all these artists and, and to be able to, to listen to it, um, I pretty much have to record it. I think Don is great at finding new music to play every week. That also fits within the aesthetic of what the show is. and. However he might define that, it's probably a little different from than how I might, and it's probably a lot different from the various listeners that tune in. But there's something about it that, for me personally, I get drawn back to again and again. I've always had a diversity of music that I've listened to in the past, from like psychedelic to punk rock to hip-hop and to R&B. And just the style of music that I play kind of fluctuates with the music I'm listening to at the time. Right now, I've been playing a lot of kind of club music, more electronic music. I'm kind of into more kind of left field stuff people may not necessarily have heard of. So to find new music, I just look online. I have favorite blogs. There's a record store out of London I like called Boomcat. So I always check every week to see what they're playing. There's a music blog called 80 Grams of Marmalade. And I like this guy's taste, um, so I always just go see what people are listening to. In Los Angeles, I like quite a few record stores. My favorite record store is Amoeba. It's in Hollywood, it's amazing. It's like the size of a city block, and it has everything and they have a great selection of used vinyl so I'll go in spend a couple hours thumbing through stuff I always talk to the people that work at Amoeba they know my taste this is uh, my friend Chris Carmina and I always look for his stickers at Amoeba uh, just because he has such good taste anything he recommends is gonna be good I think KXLU and 55 Shades of Blue, uh, what they do for artists is expose them to people that really care about art and really care about the craft of other musicians, whether, whether whoever's listening is just a listener or they happen to be a musician or they happen to be a DJ. In my experience, that's where I go to hear stuff that excites me. That's where I would want my stuff played in order for the right people to hear it. This record is uh, James Ferraro. Uh, it's a record called Far Side Virtual. And it's like one of those records that inspires me to do my radio show every weekend. Uh, my best friend put this out in 2011. Just really encapsulate what my radio show is about. There's certainly avenues and places where I think if Don was present, like in the flesh, doing what he does on the radio, that could only draw more attention to the show. Almost like cultivating like a brand even. I'm pretty happy with how I set up the show. I'm happy with the music I'm playing. It's like my passion to find new music, but I think the real thing that I'm kind of not that happy about is I just kind of want the show to progress a little bit more and I kind of want to be doing more with it. And one of the things I want to do is start doing t-shirts and stickers and posters. I think it would be so rad to get like a poster in a record store, like all the record stores in LA. I'm just trying to become more visible in the scene and making people more aware of my show so if they can stay up, then I know I can hook them. Yeah, right. I can't help it. Alright, guys, good. Alright, I'm okay. 
Hey, how's it going? Yeah, Do you mind good. if I hang one up? No, there? no. Oh, uh, that's so cool. That's perfect. Thank you so much, Ed. Man, I'm right. stoked on that. <laughs> what are some other record stores that you'd recommend? So there is Gimme Gimme. Yeah. There is also right across, I forget the name, it's a hair place. It's like a haircuts and records. All right, whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, it's right amazing how many record stores have popped up yeah. in LA. KXLU does for these artists and that they're still one of the last independent nonprofit station. I wish they would get more more notoriety. You know, this is the person who's 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 giving it to you. Here's here's four hours of music. Here's the playlist. This is where you can get them. This is, you know, so so that's very important in fo taste forming and and you know, in a certain way trance setting and and, and looking for that forward thinking music, the stuff that you know, will be influenced by, you know, generations to come. I kind of see KXLU in 55 Shades of Blue as like, like a last bastion of hope <laughs> in Los Angeles. 55 Shades of Blue, music to drum to. 55 Shades of Blue. Hi, my name is Don. You're listening to KXC Los Angeles, 88.9 FM, and this is a show called 55 Shades of Blue. I love doing my radio show. It's the one thing I look forward to every week. I get super stoked when I'm just around LA interacting with people and they discover I have a show on KXLU because it just validates all the hard work I put in week after week. I feel so fortunate to be able to have a show at KXLU. It just allows me to share my passion with greater Los Angeles and even the world.